The Chaser Report is recorded on Gadigal land. Striving for mediocrity in a world of excellence, this is The Chaser Report. Hello and welcome to The Chaser Report with Dom and Charles. And Dom, we're going to look at US politics because there's some pretty big news coming out of the US this morning. You just want to do this because they found suspicious white powder at the White House, yes. don't you? Yes. And that turned out to be, oh, we'll tell you in a moment and we'll also update you on the bizarre campaign of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. So the white powder, Charles, the, um, this brings back memories of the anthrax days. Do you remember that? Yeah. Uh, they found some white powder inside the, uh, the White House late on Sunday night. Mm. It was temporary closed. Part of the presidential complex was shut down. And the Washington Fire Department later identified it as, oh, as cocaine, Charles, <laughs> as cocaine. So Putting what, the white in the White House. Is that why Joe Biden is so sprightly? He's got a lot of energy for a man his age, doesn't he? It's just, for an 83-year-old, is People he? said it was because he went on the Peloton bike, but uh, nah. I can imagine going on the rack would be a bit mm. of a more likely explanation. So is there any sort of idea about the source? I mean, ultimately, it, it's probably stuff that the CIA organised from the Guatemalan yes. Contras or Nicaragua. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Some to, sort of Mexican cartel. They're yeah. Trying to tip off against each and other. They, and they've traded it for Iranian arms or something. Mm. Yeah. Well, it was in the West Wing. It's quite possible that Aaron Sorkin was in there uh, considering bringing back the <laughs> TV series. I'm not sure. But, yeah, so it's in the – it mm. could well have been in, in the West – in the Oval Office itself. Who see, knows? See, this would never have happened under Trump. It would never have happened under Trump. Like like this sort of liberal, lascivious lifestyle where you just have coke mm. and orgies the whole time. He definitely wouldn't. I mean, what he would have done is absolutely filled uh, all available rooms with burgers, as he did on several <laughs> occasions, and Diet Cokes. Yeah. Um, but no, he wouldn't He wouldn't have had that. That wouldn't have happened on his watch. No. Absolutely not. Because he's a God-fearing Christian, mm. whereas they've elected a bunch of drug-snorting um, atheists. Yes, hippie monsters. I mean, is, do we want uh, the decisions of the biggest global superpower that's got nuclear arms, do we want them all coked up when they're making decisions? Well, one Republican who says yes is Donald Trump Jr. <laughs> actually, <laughs> yeah, it's right. probably the deal. But they, they, it's entirely possible it was his mm. stash, actually, that was just yes, hidden for several years. Left so behind. Sure. Right. Who knows? Anyway, this is what's been found. Um, no more so, explanations at this time, but mm. look, of those on the administration who, who might be using, I think, I think Joe Biden's the mm. one to look at. Do you think... That happens in Australian Parliament House. You think there's a sort Isn't of... Isn't that what the prayer room's for? Sta- oh, yes, of course. Yes. Do I think that at some point Australian Parliament House has contained cocaine? Yes, I do, Charles. I think that's entirely... Hmm. I would be I astonished think, if that had not been the is case. Is that why they paint all those official buildings white? Yes. To sort of make the coke blend in. And absolutely. And makes it less obvious. Yep, yeah, absolutely. And a beautiful, uh, you know, there's very expensive kind of wood joinery. It's perfect to rack off in, yes. in Parliament House from okay. what I've heard. So. Yeah. yeah, look, it's just the way the world goes. But mm. at the same time as... Is there any indication of who, like it's the West Wing, so it's the... President's, pres- uh, you know, close personal staff, yeah. Yeah, so, but any indication about who on there? Well, so, like it is- hang the person out to dry, but not, it's probably the person who's been supplying the whole West Wing. <laughs> that's right. Okay. So there you go. So that's what's happening in, in Washington. And just imagine a world where... Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is the next president of the United States. He has. He's running against, well, firstly, Donald Trump, mm. to try and, uh, who's called him Ron DeSanctimonious, which is too long a word, I feel, for the Trump base to really embrace. Well, I think embrace. actually, I think the new uh, one is like Tiny Ron or something. Like, he always does that. Apparently he's really short. Mm. So um, He always calls his opponents little, tiny, whatever it is, to try mm. and sort of unman them. But so we've got new polls about Ron DeSantis. This is the guy in Florida who um, passes all those laws against saying gay. Yes, he can't say gay. He's taken on Disney. Banned hundreds of books. He calls Florida the place where work goes to die. So he's essentially um, appealing to a fairly small um, percentage of Fox News viewers. Mm. At this point. So the polls are not looking good for good old Ron DeSantis. Uh, Just 35% of Americans hold a favourable view of DeSantis compared to 45% who say they view him unfavourably. Wow. Which which means that's a massive slump. So... um, it's, it's sort of, he's about 10 points. It, it's a 10-point shift in unfavorability. And is this amongst Republicans or amongst Americans in general? This is Americans. Wow, okay. So, I mean, he's already got a fairly tough job because he's got to be a lot like Donald Trump 
and yet distinguished himself from Donald Trump to try and beat Trump in the primary. He hasn't figured out how to do that at all yet. He seems to be trying to go to the right of Trump, which will would then make him unelectable in the general election, which yeah. seems to be exactly what these polls are saying. And the thing that he's trying to skewer Trump on is tolerance, yes. basically. So what has happened is Trump has come out and um, – been way too left liberal yeah. when it comes to gays over the years. I, mean, I, I must say, of all the things I've heard Donald Trump ranting about over the years, there hasn't been that much attacking um, LGBTQI plus people, uh, which is obviously an anomaly. He may rectify at some point, but mm. it's true. He's, he, it's not one of his, I mean, Mexicans, for instance, absolutely tease off on at every occasion, but no, he hasn't um, proposed some sort of a wall and incarcerating all gay people behind it and making them pay for the wall or anything like that at this stage. Whereas Ron DeSantis would probably be quite comfortable with that. So what uh, Ron DeSantis did is uh, on Friday, which is like last week, which was the last day of Pride Month, uh, he criticised Trump's uh, for comments he made in support of the gay community in the wake of the 2016 mass shooting uh, at the Pulse nightclub in Orlando, oh, Florida, yeah, which, which killed 49 people. Um, and he thought that, being supportive of those victims of a massacre was just a little bit too left liberal yep. uh, for him. And then he, uh, and then the ad that Ron DeSantis is running then highlights the numerous anti transgender bills that DeSantis has signed into law in recent months um, and, and features headlines saying that his bills are draconian and dangerous. <laughs> 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 As if that's some sort of thing. And then liberals there, hate them. Is and then words, yeah. it features a clip of the infamous fictional character Patrick Bateman, the serial killing main character in American Psycho. Really? Yes. He's after the American Psycho vote? Yes. This I, is, I, why can't we have politics like that in Australia? This like, is an unprecedented probably, level of honesty, I, though, for I, a, a politician to come out and say, I'm basically. I'm basically. I'm, ba- I'm Patrick Bateman. <laughs> <laughs> that's, <laughs> the pro serial yeah. killer. That's a, it's a constituency that's been underrepresented, <laughs> I feel, so far. Yeah, and look, I think with America's love of true crime podcasts, oh, yeah. I kind of feel like probably it's a shrewd strategy. I mean, if if this is his plan to get past Donald Trump, yes. that might actually work because, so I mean, American Psycho said in the world of, you know, New York rich people with mm. fancy ties and so on, that's Trump's world. Yes. Um, he, and Trump lives in Florida where mm. DeSantis is governor. No, no. Um, you can't see any cops in Florida prosecuting DeSantis. No, can you? yes. He can get away with it. So yes. if, if Donald Trump winds up, I don't know, how do you kill people with a, a nail hammer or something? Oh, or, uh, yes, yeah, very bone sores. Bone sores. Yeah. If, if it's, it's either uh, MBS or it's <laughs> Ron DeSantis. <laughs> I just love, like, what's the, but they must focus group test mm. these ads. Yeah. So how does that work? You go into a room, you, you choose six people who, you know, you want to appeal to, you show them an ad comparing <laughs> your candidate to a serial killer and they go, oh, yeah, that makes me more like him more. Like, well, like, maybe what? the problem was that they conducted the poll in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> so the average person's like, oh, Patrick Bateman, yeah, look, big fan, love yeah. his work. Do you think Don Jr. will switch sides? Oh, look, he's Don a, Jr. is very much of that of that world. Yes. Yeah. He's Rage very, field. I mean, if you've w- ever watched his weird little videos that he does on whatever that uh, kind of streaming mm. network is, yeah, he's absolutely. That is, he's absolutely nuts, basically. Mm. I, and in I, actual fact, I mean, I, I haven't read American Soccer for years, but I'm pretty sure they were sort of coke fueled, absolutely binges, yeah. weren't they? Like the the killing sprees, with so, the satire being he would he would you know everything was a brand name, and mm. I mean, that's what Trump does. The Trumps yeah. really love branding things. Yeah, so. So maybe this election, you know how everyone's saying, well, America's not really a democracy anymore. Mm. It's not really going to be fought to the ballot box. It's all sort of authoritarian. Maybe this election will be decided not through the ballot box but through Ron DeSantis murdering Don, Donald Trump with a bone saw. I mean, this is this is a, a fantastic way to winnow down the Republican field. There's a lot of people in the debates. There's been a lot of debate about how many votes you need, um, you know, how much support you need to actually get on the debate stage. Someone like Chris Christie, the uh, former New Jersey governor who um, ran last time and is, is in there basically as a Trump spoiler. Can he get in the debate? Mm. doesn't matter if he's been murdered by Ron DeSantis. 
said is yes. in the lead up, doesn't it? Yes. And how would it work? Would 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 he do it sort of live on TV? Or no, he'd do it on Twitter Spaces, so no one would see <laughs> he'd it. He'd have the audio. Yeah, yeah it would cra- <laughs> The streaming would crash. Yeah. yeah, I'm here. I'm here with um, you know, no, Chris Christie, trusted naked. Yeah. Oh no, the streaming's broken. <laughs> Elon. Elon's in the room too, presumably. The Chaser Report: News you can't trust. And look, uh, we should sidebar this that uh, Elon Musk is going to have a cage fight apparently with Mark Zuckerberg. Neither of them is bucking. But hang Neither on, hang is, on. Uh, he's ducking down and saying this is rubbish, obviously not going to do this. I thought that they weren't because Elon Musk's mum weighed in and said that Elon wasn't allowed to do it because it would ruin his beautiful face. I wish Elon's mum had been a fan of Twitter being the way it was. That would have been so good. Yeah, look, I'm not sure. The last I heard was that it was going ahead. Um, the Italian government has offered the Rome, the, the, the Colosseum. Rome Colosseum. Seriously? Yes. Well, they they've can offered do whatever the, they want. They've offered the Colosseum for the cage fight and it's it's a no rules cage fight right like so it's literally mm. play dirty who do you reckon wins see i would have thought elon because he's so much bigger but zuckerberg's no. probably much fitter he's built mark zuckerberg is apparently incredibly fit well didn't he do an mma or something but also the the difficulty is i don't think either of them is human mm. I, I think if if ever you believe the kind of reptilian hypothesis, David mm. Icke and all that. I mean, these guys are definitely reptilians, right? So I would once thought, the blows start flying, they might revert to reptile form. See, I Amazon. always assumed that Mark Zuckerberg's blow was like mercury or something yeah, like that. I think that's right. Yeah. He's liquid metal. He's like the T-1000. Yeah. yeah. And, and so the fire will probably go on and on and on because mm. he'll keep regenerating as he gets torn apart. Yes, that's he, he, true. There'll be extra limbs and... and you know, like his skin will just seal up. and Elon, Elon, The problem with Elon is he'll be distracted. He'll buy several companies in the course of the bout <laughs> and have stopped to father children. Uh, yes. Will he be allowed to father ch- children during the um, the kind of ra- breaks between rounds? Well, it doesn't, not, it doesn't matter. The it. rules don't apply to him. Rules don't apply to him. Yeah. Okay. You're allowed to. There's no rules. There's no rules in this fight. He can, father like Twitter. His, 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 he can father as many children as he likes during the catch. Well, you know what's going to happen at some point during the during the bout. Mm. Elon will basically snap his fingers, and a giant crowd of Nazis will just <laughs> pour into the Colosseum and, <laughs> and take over and rip Zuckerberg limb from limb. Do you think? I, do you think Zuckerberg will bring along a bone saw, probably Ron DeSantis style? Like that's what I would do. Well, Ron DeSantis and Musk are mates. It's entirely possible mm. Ron DeSantis will be there. All, all that I know is I, I, I generally, I generally abhor violence. Charles, I'm not in favour of boxing. I think all these things are barbaric. But in this case, I might make an exception, particularly if you can guarantee me that both will lose. I think you, yes. you want the kind of cage fight where no one leaves the cage, basically. Yes. Can you imagine the entertainment of that? It would solve. It would make the world a much better place. No, look, I'm not. I'm not one for. Joking about death. I would never do that, Dom. You've never done it except no, for I've, the <laughs> entire past history of your comedy career. Yeah, that's right. But, you know, like if, you, if you're going to take out two people in the world, mm. you'd have to say, I mean, and they don't have to die. Maybe no. they can just be permanently incapacitated. I think just but, unable to operate their companies. Is yes, that's yeah. all you're wanting. I mean, the, the only other person I'd like to see entering, uh, perhaps as perhaps as the as the kind of whoever wins this goes on to the ultimate title, mm. Vladimir Putin, who is apparently very good at judo. Yes, he's very good at that, judo. The risk would be that he'd win mm. um, through his judo skills. But um, I mean, in terms of she, hey, if, we, I know Musk and Zuckerberg are terrible, but but I mean, Putin is. Yes. Another level of evil. Oh so. yeah, no, yeah. But hang on. So what did what? What's the prize? Like who? What is it? Just pride? Like what? What? Like if they if Musk and and uh, Zuckerberg go face to face, is there any prize? Like do they? Well, I don't know. Win Ma- each other's maybe, companies. We talked them? yesterday about um because that's a about, bit of a, about threads, which Instagrams bring to take on Twitter. Yeah, maybe Zuckerberg will have to drop threads, and uh, maybe yes. um maybe if. Zuck wins, he gets control of Twitter, which, to be, to be honest, would be an improvement at this stage, even though that God, would mean that's... Meta would own every social network. <laughs> they at least know how to, I don't know, run social networks, yeah. sort of. Jesus. Yeah. God. America's not in the best state, is it, right Is now? this what it was like to be a peasant in 14th century France? Like, was it just like you'd see these sort of figures who had lots more money than you doing mm. silly wars and battling and duels and stuff like that? And it had no real impact on your life except that 
they would use all the money that you were generating to to, fight the to do all their mm. fun things. Well, I, I guess the biggest difference in those days was because there was no sort of social me- media and news ecosystem, they wouldn't have found out about it. It would have been blissful ignorance. I mean, sure, okay, it would have been a horrible life, but at least they wouldn't have constantly, every second, yes. their devices vibrating with more news about Musk and mm. Zuckerberg and DeSantis. I mean, at least they would have had blissful ignorance mm. of the moment by moment going on, mm. going on of the terrible people who ran the world. Mind you, I think the carrier pigeons that they used back then mm. would have been a lot more reliable than Twitter That's is true. now. Yeah. So they probably would have been had more updates. In, in terms of bird-related ways of getting updated, the carrier pigeons are far more reliable. I'm sure that's true. Yes. Uh, so can we, can we pull this into a neat uh, package where the listener walks away going, I've really learnt something and, oh, that came together really nicely at the end, Dom. Uh, given the amount of um, things I got distracted by during the course of this podcast, uh, I, I think the main point is that if you have any plan to live in America, any financial exposure to America, mm. I don't know if you have any, just don't, just do have yeah. nothing. It's, it's going down. Very, yeah. Like Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg in a cage yeah. fight. The revolution will not be televised. It certainly won't be on Twitter spaces. <laughs> it certainly won't be it on Twitter. It might be on threads, yeah. possibly. Yeah. Charles, should we have a cage fight? <sighs> like, the, no. No. No, it's not but, a good idea. But I will take some of that cocaine that the West Wing has. I'd happily do that. There you go. Yeah. yeah, something good comes out of the story. Our gear is from Rode. We are part of the Iconoclast Network. Catch you tomorrow.